My first guest tonight is an actor, author, and one of the most popular stand-up comedians in the world. Please welcome back to The Late Show our friend Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Professor Gaffigan. I am a very artistic person. <laughs> yes. The I'm turtleneck in my turtleneck. makes you very distingue. It's, I don't know what that means, but I'm insulted. Very, I, uh, very distinguished. It's a very distinguished look you got you there, know, Jim. I had an interview recently where the, the reporter asked me in, in a sincere tone, they're like, are all stand-up comedians slobs? <laughs> and I was like, uh, I think that's an insult, but... <laughs> So now I'm dressed up for your show. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, well, we're glad we can get you. I'm always glad when we can snag a few minutes with Mr. Gaffigan, because you're a busy man. You're always on tour. Traveling. Any, any, Got... any fun tour dates recently? Any unusual venues? Well, I will... Uh, I pretty much perform everywhere and anywhere. I'm going international, but last year I performed at a rodeo. Wow. Which was because I have a good agent. And, and uh, um, I obviously, I have to ask yes. the question. It was my first rodeo. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. And I love, I love that saying, you know, not my first rodeo, as if the second rodeo is when it makes sense. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, now I get it. People are riding animals that want to be left alone. At first, I thought it was an aggressive petting zoo. <laughs> but it was fascinating. I performed... Where, may I ask where this was? It was at the San Antonio Rodeo. It's a big that's to-do. A, that's, a, that's a good one. It's a big to-do. Yeah. And it was so... It was so impressive. And there's different... Different events. Some, some of them are more dangerous than others. Some different skills. You know, like... There's the calf roping, where uh, a guy chases down a calf. You know, like, cows are super fast. Well, in this event, a guy chases down a baby cow. But he's riding a horse, so it's an even race. And then he lassoes the calf and he ties it up, and whoever does it the fastest is most likely to be a serial killer. <laughs> but it was amazing, and it's just like these, these performers or, or these cowboys are so intense. At one point, one of them came up to me, he goes, you do stand-up comedy? I could never do that. And then he proceeded to climb on a bull. <laughs> and the world never made sense again. Do you have a favorite event to like to watch? I mean, the bull riding was... It's insane. It's terrifying. It's, it's, it's 1,500 pounds of angry pot roast. Yeah, and, and it's... <laughs> it's like we never... Uh, we live in such a risk-averse society, right? I mean, sure. kids are wearing helmets walking down the street. There's... At the rodeo, there's no safety meeting. No, There's no one going, all right, fellas, no one wants to see you get hurt. Well, except everyone in the stadium. <laughs> but the bull riding is so impressive. Of course, you know, they... I was surprised. They only ride the bull up to eight seconds. That's, that's the whole time. That's the maximum. And if you get eight seconds, you just jump off and you're... And or, or someone rescues you, you know? And what? it's like... What do you mean yeah, so you? someone rides by on a horse and grabs them off. Someone rides have up to a horse... Have you seen a rodeo? You I call have. yourself an American? I have. No. <laughs> I've seen guys jump off. I've never seen somebody ride up on a oh, horse yeah, and take yeah, you off. I yeah. think that's a harder competition. No, that's insane. Riding a horse up next to an angry bull? Well, I think it's fascinating that it's eight seconds. Like, that's their whole work day. That's got to change your <laughs> perspective. You know, like, even waiting for an elevator, you're like, I could have ridden three bulls. You know what I mean? It's like... And it, if you watch it, it's so impressive. Did anybody do the full eight while yeah, you were there? Yeah, there were a couple guys that did the full eight. Are they good or are the bulls weak? I don't know, because it's different bulls. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's like, eight seconds is really impressive, but it's not that long. Like, especially when you consider a dead body could ride a bull for, like, two seconds. <laughs> you know? Because, you know, there's one guy who's like, you did good, you did good. Not as uh, good as the corpse, but you did all right. <laughs> so. Well, have you ever been on a mechanical bull? I have not. Wow. I have not. I, I would love to see you on... I have. It's very painful. Even yeah. for short periods of time. That seems unnecessary. The, the chafing, the chafing on the thighs yeah, is no, what you don't expect. I just was watching this bull riding and just the core strength. 
like to do that. That's unnecessary. You yeah. know, I mean, I yeah. barely have the core strength to ride a bike at this point. Yes. <laughs> Rodeo, were the rodeo clowns? Because I, I the really like clowns, rodeo clowns look fantastic. Those great are the, job. Those are the best. Yeah. Right? I, I don't know how they convince someone to be a rodeo clown. <laughs> Like, there's like, all right, after the riders thrown by the furious bow, we need someone to distract, maybe antagonize that 2,400 pound animal. And me and the fellas, we were thinking, you'd be good at that. And you know, the guy's like, what? Me? Well, it, would I have protection? You, you mean like makeup? <laughs> no, something to protect me from the bull. Well, you wouldn't be out there naked, you'd be dressed like a clown. Like, I don't know why they're dressed like clowns. And so when they die, it's humiliating. No, but do they think that, like, a bull's gonna throw a rider and then just be like, I'm gonna... Was that a clown? <laughs> Wait, is it my birthday? Did you guys get me a clown for my birthday? No. Rodeo is, 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 and I think this might be late to even say this, yeah. that is not where I would picture your act. No, like no. Like in the sand but right I've, out there. But I've performed, I, last year I performed at a zoo. I don't... At I don't, a zoo? I don't know what's going For on whom? in my career at what this is going, point. At a zoo? There were people, it was the Toledo Zoo. I don't know why they picked me. They're like, Gaffigan Show, do it at the animal jail. You know? <laughs> I mean, obviously zoos are not animal jails. I mean, the animals can't leave, and if they tried to leave, they'd shoot them. But, <laughs> but it was it was outside the Toledo Zoo. It's beautiful, it is, and yes. you could see some of the animals. I don't know what they were thinking. They were probably like, "Who's the new guy?" You know? <laughs> well, that polar bear really let himself go. You know? <laughs> but of course, some animals do perform at the zoo, yes. and uh, they're rewarded with food. And I was like, you know what? I have a pretty similar arrangement. <laughs> you know, that's what I get. Now, your kids travel with you sometimes, right? Unfortunately, they do. They do, okay. Yeah. Is that a good arrangement? Have you, have you like... It's, you know, I, uh, I took my family to Europe last summer, and uh, I brought nice. my kids, sure. and, which is great, because they're always there to point out every insecurity you have, right? <laughs> they're like, you know you look fat. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. You know you look like a tourist. Yes, I do know that. Uh, <laughs> And it's weird, because we never want to look like tourists, right? People always... No, you want to look native. We want to mix in, yeah. right? We're always like, what are the locals doing? What are the locals doing? And people are like, they're at work, you know? <laughs> Can I do that? I want to do that. <laughs> but we do behave strangely as tourists. Like, when we were in uh, Europe, we visited a bunch of churches. Sure. You never do that when you're at home, you know? <laughs> you never wake up on a Saturday, hey, you want to go look at some old churches? <laughs> uh, never, no. But it was fun. Uh, you got the, the, new, uh, the new movie, uh, and it's called Troop Zero. Yes. On Amazon Prime. Um, it's a movie for kids. It's like, it's good for kids. Everybody would like it's it, but it's actually kids, kids, kids can watch it. Yeah. Kids it's definitely, it. it's definitely uh, a movie about misfits, and it's a, a girl's adventure story. It's, it's for everyone, though. Yeah, because the last time you were on, I think you were playing a murderer, <laughs> right? Yeah, you actually murder a, a little kid different. or something like that, right? It's a little this different. This is better. Have this your kids seen this one? They, will, have they, they watched this one? You know, it, it came out on Friday. I was gone, but no, they didn't see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do they ever watch your stuff? I mean, they? I don't really, you know, I don't force them. I'm not like, time to watch daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they, so it's, but it's weird. Like, they might stumble upon something, but they're not interested. You know, yeah. there's, there's no interest Are they whatsoever. actively disinterested? I would say they're actively disinterested. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, they, I, have, I, don't even I know have walked in like on me. my son watching John Oliver, and I thought, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you hurting me? Yeah. Why are you hurting me like <laughs> no. this? No. They, they, they watch a lot of YouTube, so they might stumble upon a clip, and they're like, hey, I saw that thing you did. It was all right. You know, like... That's nice. Like, I'm in a trial period. <laughs> you know, like, you might still be my dad. Well, we have a clip here from the movie. Can you tell me what's happening? Yeah, this is um, Viola Davis, the most amazing actor in the world. Plays, uh, I play a single father, and uh, I'm a lawyer, and my, uh, my assistant or partner in uh, this business is Viola Davis, and my daughter comes in, and she's kind of the victim of bullying. This is set in the 70s, mm -hmm. so, uh, and uh, I guess the rest kind of says what it is. What the hell happened to your hair? 
tail off, I guess. You look ferocious, boss. Nothing more important than that. We do this ourselves. Who did this? No one. You just tell her she looks nice. What's wrong with y'all? Why is she letting people cut on her hair? Ain't let nobody do nothing. Clarification, boss. Overall. Yep. That'd be the judge. You tell my mom away, all right? Oh, come on, Fluffy. Can you make sure she got something to eat? Good father. Thank you. Good father. Life lessons for everybody. Life. And there's the dog. Jim, good to see you. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for stopping by. Thanks for by. having me. Appreciate Troop it. Troop Zero is on Amazon Prime now. Jim Gaffigan, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>